considering you're facing a defense, they're facing a defense that uh, you guys are so familiar with. Any advice from those guys? It's a lot of similarities to uh, you know what our offense, um, you know, went against first camp, you know, going against us. So uh, they'll be prepared for sure. You look forward to seeing Amberflus up there. Yes, I am. I am a great guy. I learned a lot from him, and uh, his, his defense isn't doing bad. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, you know to go up against their defense. What do you particularly help you with the last couple of years as you kind of worked your way back? Flus? Yeah, Flus. Uh, just the overall IQ of the game, understanding of, uh, you know, why I need to be in this position, uh, you know, at this specific time, and, um, you know, speed and intensity, for sure. A lot of people talk about him as a head coaching candidate. Do you see that one day with him? No question. No question. He'll be a head coach one day. Um, he has the spirit for it, uh, the intelligence, the work ethic. Um, so um, it, it'll happen sooner, sooner rather than later. Indy has a really good rookie linebacker in Darius Leonard. Mm -hmm. Of course, you guys have your own pretty good one in Vanderush. Mm -hmm. I assume I know the answer to this, but is Vanderush kind of just, you think he's proven himself as the defensive rookie of the year? Yeah, I think there's some, they're, they're both are some, some great guys with some great players um, who are going to continue to elevate this game. Um, so, so you know who my vote is going to be, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when the polls come out. <laughs> Sean's been around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's obviously been around in meetings. What's it like now to see him on the practice field this week? Oh man, it's uh, very energizing to see you know him back running around, um, getting after it. I'm definitely happy for him, for sure. Does he act like a kid in his first day of, you know, just getting back at it? I mean, he's a, he's a pro. He's a, he's a pro. He's a pro's pro. Uh, I've gotten a chance to learn a lot from him. Um, everyone has, just by the way he approaches the game. And, um, you know, definitely happy to see him back on the field. Sure. Jalen, did you get a chance to ever go to any Colts games? And is there any added excitement, I guess, for going back home? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's home field event. For me, you know, I've I won four state championships there. Uh, played there once, as, um, you know, with the Fighting Irish. So this is my sixth time playing in Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm excited to be back. Um, me and Rob probably got about 100 people coming, family, family and friends. So I'm definitely, definitely happy. Hey, so that combine was there, obviously, mm -hmm. and you're there, and you're getting all these questions about your knee and going through that process. Just you ever think back about just how much different life has been for you since the time of the combine up until now? Not until you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, I was, I was limited. Uh, definitely at the combine. Um, you know, a lot of people thought I'd never play the game again. All of that good stuff. But, you know, I'm with the hot boys. You know, so we, we were good to go. Indy's what, about two hours from Fort Wayne? Did you grow up with Colts? No, I did not grow up with Colts. Um, but I won't tell you who I was, you know, saying all of that good stuff, because it doesn't matter. Uh, the Cowboys is my favorite team now. So, <laughs> so it wasn't Dallas then. Huh? It wasn't Dallas then. Yeah. No, no. Uh, Mike Vrabel was my favorite player. If you know who he played for, yeah. you know who my favorite team was. <laughs> Two teams, though. You get a chance yeah, first in his prime. Team. In his prime. You get a chance in his to meet prime. Him. Talk to him. Say it again? You get a chance to meet Mike? Or yeah, during my recruiting process, uh, he was like the defensive line coach at Ohio State my uh, junior and senior year. So I got a chance to meet him, dream come true. Um, so, it, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was dope. Eric Ebron has had an explosive year for the Colts. What challenge does he present to this defense? Man, he's a guy who can get after it. Um, you know, all phases of the game, he has it, he possesses it. Uh, so we have to be aware of where he is at all times. Are there principles that carry over from Eric's last week to him this week? Both two elite, you know, pro go, pro go, all pro caliber guys. And you have to be alert to where they are. So um, I'm looking forward to this challenge and I'm looking forward to going home. How do you see your role in the building of this defense over a few years? Is it one of the patience to yeah, just patience and learning, uh, learning the ropes of, of the game, of the, uh, you know, 
playing for America's team, uh, improving my football IQ and my health. Um, you know, to now being the leader of the defense and the quarterback of the defense, uh, something I've prepared for uh, been a leader my entire life. Um, so I'm thankful like, that we're having success. Yeah. Sean's return's been a big story about, hey, how does he come back in? What is it, what's going to happen? But it seems to matter nothing to you guys. It doesn't, however it works, no, it's however it no, works. No, I mean, when Sean's, when Sean's healthy, he's a great player. Um, <laughs> he's, still got, he's still got juice left in the tank. Um, and, and I've done nothing but learn from him. You know, him passing the torch on to me. Um, it's something that I've been preparing for. And um, like I said, when he's healthy, he's still got some juice left. So I'm happy to have him back. I'm uh, happy to have him back. Uh, he's going to be out there making some plays. It's, it's going to be a great thing. Thank you. Yes, thank you.